Hi, welcome to Online Basis Training, presented to you by QED, the actuarial arm of Aon Hewitt. The training will be presented in a series of five short videos. These videos are aimed at a fairly basic level to get you started and more comfortable with the software package, but can be used to consolidate some of the knowledge you already have about bases. Let's get started straight away with the introduction to BASIS. BASIS is an actuarial modeling tool used for undertaking various types of valuation. BASIS is written in Delphi and uses Paradox for most of its underlying databases. It is a parameter-driven system with some coding-based structures being implemented, but more on that later. The various functions BASIS can perform include net premium valuations, gross premium valuations, embedded value calculations, premium rating, profit testing, projected model accounts for new and existing business, data and reserve buildups, various experience investigations, stochastic modeling, and defined benefit pension valuations. Each of these sections make up an individual module each module can be purchased separately to tailor the product to suit your needs. To install BASIS, simply click on the setup.exe on the installation CD and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. The installation will copy a folder to your local machine called Valdata. When BASIS performs a run, it uses this Valdata folder to store information and do all the required calculations. Then, to run BASIS, Click on the EXE that is created on the local machine. The screen shown here is the first screen shown upon opening basis. It is the control file screen and acts as a central hub for the software, bringing together the created parameter files, database files, and the other information needed to perform the required runs. The most important and frequently used items in the control file are the current data, the parameter file, the output directory, the valuation date, the run type, and the detailed output. There are other items that can be useful, but are not necessary, such as the run description and username. The first three of the above mentioned items can be entered in manually, or by clicking on the small blue arrow next to the appropriate item. The parameter files and database files will have to be set up beforehand, these will be discussed in later presentations, but just to get you a little more comfortable with them, database files will store policy-specific information, like the premium and some assured, and the parameter file will be used to set up the future assumptions that will apply to the policies in the database. The control file has links through to the database editor and parameter files. Closing these will take you back to the control file screen. Multiple runs can be set up in the control file. All the runs can be accessed via the Run Navigator bar. Use the green plus sign to insert a new run and the red minus sign to delete the current run. To copy the current run shown on the control file, select Copy or go to Edit, Copy. To paste the last copied item, select Paste or go to Edit, Paste. If there is only one run in the control file, simply click on the large green button at the top middle of the screen and that run will start. If there are multiple runs set up, an additional screen will pop up that will enable you to run all the runs, run the current run only, or run a specified range. To start the run, click on the Run button. After the run is completed, a run summary will be shown. This will show the number of fatal errors per run and it will also enable you to print out or preview a selection of various errors. These include the fatal errors, runtime errors and compiler function errors. Errors will be discussed further in a later video. Saving, opening and creating a new file work very similarly throughout BASIS. To create a new file, click on the New File icon or go to File, New. Select the disk icons to save or save as respectively. These can also be accessed via the file menu. To open an existing file, select the file open button or go to file open. 
The items necessary in a control file will vary depending on the type of run you are performing, but let's run through a quick example of setting up a GPV run. First, input the current data. Note that this can be done manually or by clicking on the blue arrow next to the current data and searching for the required database. Similarly, we will need to select our parameter file and then specify the file location where BASIS will store all its calculated output. As a side note, you can use the small open file buttons to automatically open the currently specified file in that section in either the data editor or the parameter file section. Now input the valuation date. Select Gross Premium Valuation from the drop-down box next to the valuation type. Input the username and run description to help with any order trail. Finally, save the control file as required. And hit the green run button. That is a brief introduction to BASIS and its capabilities. Please continue on to our next video to see how to set up a parameter file. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.